What's up YouTube, Scrammy here, coming at you with some more tests for the Sonom XP8. Now today, we're going to run a 3D gaming benchmark on the Sonom. Now before, we ran Antutu and got some interesting results. And again, I was going to actually do a little bit of comparison of the Sonom compared to, say, a Samsung device. But something happened here that... I've never even seen before on a Samsung because these are my two va favorite types of phones are Samsungs and Sonoms. So let me just show you this real quick so you can understand what I'm talking about. So, okay, I'm trying to boot up the Samsung and as you can see it says this phone is not running official software, yada, yada, yada. And this happens. So the phone got some sort of update and now it just doesn't seem to think that what's on it is real so it's basically just bricked the phone so I can't use it for anything so I was going to just do a little bit of a comparison here but yeah I've never seen this before let me know if you've seen this on any Samsung but I certainly haven't so I guess we can't compare it that way but the program that I chose we can actually just it will bring up other comparisons after the tests run. So what I'm going to use is a little program called 3D Mark. Okay, now this basically goes through everything. So we have Slingshot Extreme, Slingshot, and API Overhead. So now normally I wouldn't anticipate running this high of a test on this Sonom, but... If you can see, it actually says this one is recommended. Um, I don't know why it's recommended, but we're going to run it anyway. I just don't see the Sonom doing very well. It says that it can outperform 69% of phones on this test. I don't know if I believe that, but we're going to run the Slingshot Extreme, the regular Slingshot, and then we're going to go for the API overhead. We're going to run all three consecutively. And we're going to see what kind of results we get. I'm hoping we get some results. But I'm going to be fast forwarding through this. Just so we're not sitting around waiting forever. And we're going to go from there. So hopefully this test comes out well. Do I think it's going to run this extreme? That extreme? No, not really. But hey, we're going to find out. So without further ado guys... Here we go, time for the benchmark.
All right, guys, so as you can see with this benchmark results, yeah, they're not very high. That is definitely low, but surprisingly, the phone isn't, isn't very warm, but let's just see. Let's compare. This is basically going to show you that this is what we got, the best score, Sonom XP8, what it normally gets, and... This is the 2020 average, which, yeah, it's a lot less than that. And uh, most flagship phones are well above that. But, that I mean, this phone isn't really designed for that. But, you know, that's just one of the tests here. I didn't really think that the uh, Extreme was really going to, um, you know, make much of a difference. Like here, I ran it a couple times. You can see it's pretty much spot on. But not very great see if we can compare so here you go here's like your gaming phones 72 72 you know way up there we're 614 now i don't know how many phones are exactly on this test but yeah as you can see it's pretty low so we're also now going to try regular slingshot maybe we'll get a little bit better results because this phone isn't quite as high spec so here we go Let's try this one out. All right, guys, as you can see, this did a little bit better here. Nothing too crazy, but at least we have some results. And again, not that high, 58% of all devices here. So it ran that a little bit better. Uh, again, I don't want this to, say, discourage you because this really isn't, you know, a gaming phone. It, I, You can play apps and stuff just fine. These are kind of very demanding tests so you know this is some people don't even like benchmark testing at all but i just thought i'd let you guys see so this will give you like i said all sorts of information and tell you what you got for your tests and to compare again we're still pretty low on the list here it's not even exactly showing me but hey we're just a little bit lower so again not that great but not that kind of phone and we're going to try one more thing here we're going to go back and we're going to do api overhead and we'll see oh looks like i got to install this didn't realize that so 
Bear with me real quick. All right, looks like it's there and we will run it. All right, and here's our API overhead results. Again, this gives you a lot of information. I think it's kind of nice to tell you everything that's going on with your phone. Again, you can compare and find all the stuff. You can look at all your tests and see your results, the performance range. So yeah, it's definitely not up there very, very high. Here you go, here's a little bit more information tells you the chipset and gives you all this information which I find kind of interesting it, you know if you ever wondered what was in the phone and everything else well this lays out all the information for you so yeah this is definitely not a gaming heavy graphics phone will it work for everyday use yeah it'll be just fine but again this was just just to give you guys a little demonstration just to show you some of the results obviously definitely not as high as a lot of modern really fast phones but yeah so i just thought i'd throw this up for you quick guys so something different so on to the next test <laughs> 